Hey guys, I'm out in this old field. This is a ministry, uh, Ichthus Ministries. Let me get out of that sun so you can see better. This used to be an old home site. Ichthus Ministries now owns it and they do some uh, uh, Christian camps. Uh, do a great ministry for kids and uh, a great guy, Bill Dingle, that owns this. Uh, been doing a great work. But anyway, right here, I've, I've hunted this before. And right here uh, used to be an old home site right there about where that big uh, tree is. And I've dug some a few wheat pennies and I dug an old bushnell token here before. Um, back in the uh, 40s, the TVA flooded uh, area down in here and down away from here about 20 miles, 30 miles. And they uh, relocated a lot of people. And one of the t cities was um, Bushnell. I found an old token for one of the stores there. I don't know of any other that's ever been found. Anyway, we're digging around here and got the big 12-inch uh, Super Watts, Watts Super 12 on there on my V3. Thought I'd give it a shot. And looked around for a little while, hadn't found much, but I did find, looks like a wheat penny. You didn't hear the sun. Yeah, weedy. You can see that. Um, I don't know about a date. Most of the stuff hadn't been real super old. Hold on just a second. I can't tell. Maybe 51. Can't tell. I'll give you a picture later on. But anyway, uh, first good find of the day. We'll keep hunting. Let you know if we find anything else. Well, a second find of decency. The old play gun. Now, look, what was weird about this is that was down... You can't see the hole, it's for the sun glare, but I'm telling you, that's about six, seven inches down at the very bottom where this was at. And look at there's ants. There was more than that on there a minute ago. There's ants all over it, down six, or seven inches. I don't see a sign of an ant hardly anywhere down up top. It's weird. Anyway, a little toy play gun. Well, uh, definitely old. Looks like can't tell right there on the side. I'll get a picture of it when I get home and get it cleaned up. It's just the back end of it though. It's pretty well intact except for the end of it. I don't see another signal so it must have been chopped up years ago but anyway I'll get back with you. Well guys I got it and it wasn't a penny. But it's like a thin aluminum or I don't have a clue what that is. It's kind of bent and I don't know if this bottom part here is bent on purpose or if it's just been bent. But it does bend easy. It's, it feels like aluminum. But it's kind of got a decorative look, a little twist to it right in here. I have not got a clue what that is. If anybody does, I sure would appreciate the help. Alright, we'll keep looking. Alright guys, back at the house. Uh, short hunt, maybe a couple hours. Uh, didn't really do a whole lot. Uh, just wanted to test out that new 12. I uh, wasn't really super impressed with that uh, white Super 12. Um... Does not like zinc pennies at all, even at three inches. It will hardly even ring them up one way. Uh, wasn't really impressed with that. I uh, don't know why. I mean, not that I really care about zinc pennies, but, you know, you still want to know what's down there. Copper pennies and quarters and dimes, it hit real good. Didn't have a problem with those. Anyway, I got six zincans, four copper pennies, a dime, a quarter, 1969 quarter, and the wheat penny. Um, that one wasn't too bad. Hold on, let me get it focused in here. There we go. Um, 1951. It's real crusty. Anyway, it's got some crust on that one. Pretty good. 1951 wheat penny. Uh, last one of the year. Um, then I got that little mystery item. If anybody has a clue what this might be, I sure would appreciate some help. Um, I don't have a clue. It's a lot of aluminum. Uh, I don't know what it came off of. Almost looked like a pull tab or something. I don't. I don't think that was bent originally. I think that was bent that way once it got, was put in the ground or something. Anyway, uh, that's not original. But it's got a little rope like pattern here on the sides. It's what's got me wondering what it was a decoration piece for. Anyway, really neat. Uh, and the little star pistol, uh, Kilgore. I think I looked it up on the internet. It's a Kilgore star cap pistol. Uh, pretty good shape. I mean, usually these are really tore up bad. Uh, where that right there, that, that really, the mineralization in the ground really tears them up. But this one's uh, pretty good shape uh, as far as the handles go. You can really see the detail pretty good. Um, so, anyway, that wasn't much today. Just been a couple hours. 
but uh, last hunt of the year. Just want to get out a little while. Uh, I will uh, be doing a video here just shortly about my finds for 2011. Uh, I haven't showed any. I just started doing videos, but I probably got over $200 worth of clad. And uh, anyway, I'll get back with you on that in a day or two and let you know how I did in 2011. All right, guys, have a good New Year's. See you.